Today we're going to discuss how you're going to use your smartphone, your mobile phone, to uh, participate at the cutting edge uh, of, of, this is really the cutting edge of the new style of observing solar eclipses. In the past, people have had to sit in one spot and have the eclipse go over them at ballistic speeds for a couple of minutes, averages about three and a half minutes, and, uh, uh, but they can be shorter, a bit longer, not too long, but that's it. That's all the time you get to observe. But in the Mega Movie Mobile app, the, the project, will allow people to virtually observe all across the nation for the entire span of America, giving us 90 minute opportunity to observe the eclipse. And where we're doing this is using your smartphone. So um, it's a little more tricky than we would like because it's not just a question of setting your, your phone up and Bob's your uncle, you're done. You have to actually participate a little bit of action. My main purpose is that when you're a photographer and you're filming eclipses like I do all the time, you spend a lot of your time and effort fiddling with your cameras and trying to get it right and like adjusting things, et cetera, et cetera. And you, you are distracted by that and you don't just spend the time enjoying the eclipse. So the whole predication of the, the mobile phones and having it done automatically by the app, the Mega Movie mobile app, is that once you set it up, which is where your participation as far as your work goes, um, is so that you set it up and then it does all the work for you. It takes the pictures and you just get to watch the corona for the entire duration without thinking about your photography because the app is doing it for you. So that's the principle. And But setting up the phone oriented in the right direction and with the use of a lens, which is what we prefer, that's where the tricky stuff comes in. And it's not that tricky. So I'm going to walk you through it step by step. I'm going to take you through different iterations of different types of lenses and different types of setups. Okay, so there we go. 